Hey there fellow reefers. I'm going to do essentially an unboxing of the Coral View Hydros Control X3. Just got it in the mail this afternoon. This is the actual controller. Smaller than I anticipated. Feels like it's well made. Hard plastic of some sorts. Has two screw holes here to attach it to something. Covers otherwise pretty self-explanatory. One probe, two sensors, and command bus. One of which will be used for the power cord. Power strip is actually a lot smaller than I expected. We have the temperature probe. I like that this connection here is covered with plastic. So I'm assuming that to some extent, if water got on here and this is connected, that would provide additional protection. Although with salt water, this metallic art could probably rust pretty easily. I personally don't keep my equipment, the cabinet with the sump. I have it in a separate chamber, so I don't worry about that as much. We have the pH probe here by endpoint. Power cord. And two packets of calibration fluid, seven and 10. The main reason that I purchased this is to have some way of checking the accuracy of my apex. Why that became necessary for me? My pH probe from Neptune failed within a month. The troublesome part was not that it failed, but that it was inaccurate, which is harder to detect. The way I realized that it wasn't measuring correctly was not straightforward. When I first placed it in my tank, after filling 130 gallons of water with promarin salt, expecting a pH of 8.0 to 8.5 and had a reading of 7.8. It didn't occur to me that the pH probe could be the issue. So I did some research about Tropic Marin, talked to a few folks at the salt water store I go to and basically was told that it's not unusual to see a lower pH during the nitrogen cycle. I finally became convinced that there might be something going on with the pH probe when the graphs on my Fusion app started flattening out, whereas prior they were fluctuating up and down. So when I heard about this controller, the X3, I was like, man, this is the perfect purchase for just that essentially it has just what I need to have essentially an accountability to the Apex probes. It's a decent price, essentially $300 came with the pH probe, with the temp probe, and it's running on a completely separate system. So even if the Apex failed, specifically let's say just the pH and temp, one of those, I would see that there's something off and it would at least alert me to take a look as opposed to having just one pH probe or one temp to determine if my pH is on or not. So I pulled out the pH meter that was provided with my Apex. I ended up buying a pH probe from GHL. From everything I've heard and read, it seems like they produce the highest quality products. I don't know about software, but the actual robustness and quality of parts used seem to be one of the best. I also purchased some pH calibration fluid on Amazon. So this is 250 mils of solution and hopefully that should last a while. What I do is I just pour the solution into this little glass vial from my Red Sea kits. It's perfect as far as the size of the probe goes. And I'll show you how I do my calibration in the sump. Here I have my pH probe from DHL. I take this bottle, first filled with RO water. I put it into here, remove it, pour this out, and then I fill this with the pH solution. And at least from my experience, it takes it a bit once you put it in the solution. So instead of sitting here with it and holding it, what I do is I have it sitting in the water just a bit here so that it stays the same temperature as the sump. Then I drop the probe inside. Then I leave it in the solution to see if it's accurately reading. Hope that's helpful. Here are the instructions about how to clean the probe and it does recommend doing so every 14 days or so. 
They're recommending the use of hydrochloric acid for lime and metal hydroxide coatings and for greases and oils just using a detergent. So I ordered some hydrochloric acid on Amazon. It was about $17 at 6% and I'm going to dilute it by 50%.